Well, the engine's actually not that different from uh, an engine that's in a contemporary vehicle. It's just a lot heavier, and obviously the fuel and ignition technology is is old, um, but basically the engine is is still got pistons that go up and down, and the crankshaft that turns around, and just it's just fairly. Um, I suppose it looks quite primitive when you look at it compared to a, a new vehicle. Okay, so just um, tell us a, a bit about how they dropped it in for us. The problem they had when they were putting the engine in was that it's a fairly, because it's a small car, it's a fairly tight engine, engine space, it's quite short, and we actually had to um, drop the front cross member out of the vehicle and then put the engine in in a near vertical position. So it was reasonably challenging, but the, the um, students did a pretty good job of getting it in and we didn't manage to break anything, which is, could have been a problem. Okay, maybe just take us through some of the parts, because I assume you said it's got the standard parts. So to me, they look a bit different to what you'd see if you opened the hood now on my car. Well, when you look at the, the, the rather ancient looking carburetor, that's one um, area where it is obviously a lot different because it, obviously a new car would be have fuel injection. The other thing is that it's actually, which the students interestingly point out, was that there's actually a grease nipple on the engine to to lubricate the water pump. Now that's something that is is quite rare and it's and it's well it's certainly unusual to see that. So it's something you have to do as a service item reasonably regularly, I guess. What's uh, the glass jar then? The glass jar is it's another one that some people were really interested in. It's actually the windscreen washer bottle. Not plastic. Uh, it sits there and, it's, and it captures everyone's attention, that one. Uh, look at the, the, under the under the bonnet, obviously the horn is the size of about three or four contemporary horns and they, certainly the new ones are not made of metal. 